Hello again folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a bit of a hybrid video between Adobe Acrobat and Adobe InDesign. Specifically it's about how to extract pages from either program. So I have a PDF and an InDesign file in this folder and I'm going to start with the PDF file. So this is a, a 10 page document and let's say I want to extract uh, pages 4 and 5 if I go into my tools and I find organize pages I'm going to highlight the two pages that I want to extract and I'm going to come up here where it says extract now you have the option of deleting the pages from the original PDF file after you do the extraction and you also have the option to extract the pages as separate files so page 4 will become its own PDF file, page 5 will become its own PDF file. So if I hit extract and I hit, uh, I'll just hit choose to save it to the same folder. And if I close this out and go back to my folder, you can see I have two new PDF files here. Each one of those are one page. And essentially it's taken pages 4 and 5 from the original PDF and created two new files. It's fairly simple. Most people know how to do that. Um, really nothing uh, fancy to it at all. Now, if I open my InDesign document, again, I have a 10-page InDesign file and along with uh, a few different master pages that this template came with. And if I want to save this as or extract this basically into the multiple InDesign files, there's files there's no way to do it I can go to extract or export excuse me and I can export certain pages of PDFs that I want however they are just PDFs that no they're no longer editable like you would have in InDesign so if I want to extract certain pages I need a script for this now I have one here that I have downloaded. I take no credit in um, creating this script at all. This is the website that I got it from. I will leave a link in the description. But if you uh, <clears throat> click down here and download it, this will give you the version that will work in InDesign CS6 and later. The original one is here that works in CS5 and earlier. So if I minimize this, after this has been uh, downloaded, this goes into your JavaScript folder in your scripts panel. So you go to your applications, Adobe InDesign scripts, scripts panel, samples, JavaScript, and you drag that in there. Now I changed the name from extract pages to extract InDesign pages just so that it's a little bit easier for me to remember what it does. But if I go back into InDesign and I go into my scripts panel, here's the script that I downloaded and installed. So if I double click on this, <clears throat> now it gives me some options. So in this case, let's just say I'm going to go ahead and extract all 10 pages. I want to extract them as separate pages, essentially just the way we did it with our um, PDF file. And then you can choose to remove the pages, just like the option in Adobe Acrobat. And I can also choose another extraction folder, which in this case, I'm just going to dump it back in the same folder. So I'll hit OK. I'll let it kind of sit for a second to work its magic. And after a few seconds, it'll finish and it'll essentially it, it closes the um, the Indes or the InDesign file that you were working with so if I minimize this and go back to my folder you can see now we have 10 separate InDesign files that were extracted from the original so if I open the original I still have my 10 page with my master pages but if I go here I still have my master pages, but I only have one page. And that's the same for each individual page here. 
this was page two from the original, page three, four, five, six, seven, etc., etc. So not everyone knows about that uh, script, but that's one way to extract multiple pages from a existing InDesign file and create new uh, new files. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope everyone finds the, uh, this useful. Leave a comment down below. Please like, share, subscribe as always. And again, I'll leave a link in the description so you can download the script yourself. Thank you all. Have a nice day.